Today we're showing you how to make three zombie inspired food items for your party. So first up, Bocconcini eyeballs. First you want to take your Bocconcini and cut them in half. Now using your knife, cut out a small chunk out of the top. Take a sliced black olive and place it into the hole in the top of your Bocconcini. Take the salsa of your choosing and spread it over top of your eyeball. Take some prosciutto and wrap the zombie eyeball and it's ready to go. And a really great pairing with this is a crostini or a baguette or any kind of cracker that you'd like. It's time for the graveyard taco dip. Here are the layers. First, one can of refried beans. One cup guacamole. Take two cups of sour cream and mix with the taco seasoning. One cup diced tomatoes. One cup Tex-Mex shredded cheese. One cup of salsa. Put your choice of sprouts along the edges of the dish. Spread some in the middle if you like. It's here more for decor than taste, so you don't want too many. To top it off, a half pound of ground beef. Oil a pan at high temperature, add half an onion, one garlic clove, the ground beef, and cook until well done. Add tombstones. Take soft shell tortillas and cut out the tombstone shapes and bake them in an oven until golden brown. There's nothing like a classic graveyard for zombies to crawl out of. Okay, and now it's time for your zombie shrimp brain. To begin, you're going to need to purchase a styrofoam head. Mark the circumference of the head. Using scissors and a knife, cut the top of your head and hollow out the inside. I paper mache the head using glue and paper towel, I let it dry, then painted it for fun using a green zombie color. As a final touch, add some gauze around the head and bloody it up. Now fill the top of the head with ice. I took the shrimp tails off of this, but feel free to keep them on if you'd like. Fill your head with shrimp as a base, and now we're going to create the brain shape. Begin to layer each shrimp in a row on the left and right side. The more layers you have, the better it's going to look at the end. For a bloody look, use your shrimp sauce and glaze it on top. Take off some pieces and start to fill in the gaps in the middle. Now you can feast away. Okay, wait, what are we coming out of? Food? food? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> one of these. One of these right here. All right, all right, we got it. <laughs>